Hey guys, so I am kicking off my 25 days of Christmas beauty um, today with this look right over here. Um, if you guys want to follow my 25 days of Christmas, just follow me on Instagram, Deepa Brar. So I've been really inspired to create some crazy fun looks lately. I wanted it to be a little bit brighter and more colorful, so that's where I came up with this look from. It's got some oranges, yellows, greens, purples, everything, pretty much every color under the rainbow is in this look. But anyways, I hope you guys like this look. If you have any requests, let me know, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Press that button right there, and share this with your friends, and let's get right into it. So I'm starting off with this palette from Hard Candy, which I really like, because it's got a lot of different colors in here, and I'm starting off with the yellow color on the eyelid. Um, and as usual, I'm gonna put all the products in the description box below, so you guys can know exactly what um, palette it is, and which colors and everything I used. Next I went in with this orange shade right into the crease and I just use a blending brush to apply this and I'm just starting off close to the crease and gonna blend it out. That's how you get that really nice sort of blended faded look to the color. You wanna start in the crease and then just whatever's left on your brush, just run it back and forth um, out towards your eyebrows. I then went in with the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going in with this dark orange and with the same brush I'm going right into the crease and I'm concentrating this color along the crease line and I'm not fading it out too much but just a little bit to blend it out with the other color that I had placed down. Now with the smaller crease brush, I'm using this dark burnt orange and I'm going right into the crease. So if you guys can kind of tell, I'm sort of building the layers and that's what kind of gives you that really nice blended look with lots of depth. So I'm just staying very concentrated into the crease with this and just sort of creating a little bit of a lift towards the edge of the eye. Um, and then I'm using this sort of um, duochrome yellowish pinkish color right in the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm going in with the green color from Hard Candy with a small shader brush and I'm going right under the eyes with this and um, just really intensifying that green. Okay, that was a bit of a mouthful. Okay, now moving on to liner. I'm using this liner from L'Oreal. Um, it's their voluminous liner. It's I love this liner. I love how fine you can get the edge um, of the cat eye. It's so. If you guys haven't tried this liner, you definitely want to try it. It's it's amazing. Anyways, um, I'm just building out the line. I'm going on the inner corner as well, and I'm kind of extending out the cat eye. Um, towards um, the inner corner of the eye and dipping down towards the nose um, and then you just want to throw on your mascara as usual I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex my favorite mascara and then I'm going in with this brow highlight okay and I'm going right underneath the eyes I like mixing those two colors in the Morphe 350 because it gives a really really pretty shade um, and then going in with lashes these are Illa Mask lashes I'll put um, the name or number below those are the eyes now we're moving on to face, starting off with my MAC Cosmetics Studio Conceal and Correct Palette. And this really nice brush from Luxie, I like it because it's super um, dense and pointy at the edge um, so you can get into the corners and it's perfect for this kind of look when you have that sort of double uh, liner, and um, or double edge liner I should say. And then I just went in with a foundation that I just custom mixed a foundation um, from Cover FX. It's their custom cover drops and I mixed it in with um, one of their primers. If you guys have not tried Cover FX, I swear to God, you guys need to try this product. Um, their foundations are bang on in terms of their color selection, and the coverage is great, and it just looks so natural on your skin. Honestly, it's really great. Um, and then I went in with the yellow color from that Studio Conceal and Correct palette from MAC, and I'm just using it as a highlight under the eyes and down the center of the nose, the Cupid's bow, and the center of the chin. And for contouring, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm just gonna lay down my markings. So underneath the cheekbones, underneath the jawline, along the forehead, and then along the nose. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with a brush. Now you want to make sure that you set everything. I'm using my NARS Translucent Crystal and I'm pushing the powder right into the smaller spots with a smaller brush and then I'm going over with a bigger brush. 
that just makes sure that everything's locked into place. And then I'm using this Too Faced blush, which is super pretty and just, you know, putting it on my cheeks. <laughs> and then I'm going in with my highlight, which is NARS Albatross, which if you guys have not tried this color, please, please, please go try it. It's so pretty, like a white gold. It's gorgeous on, if you have a similar skin tone to me or if you're even a little bit darker, it'll work great for you. Okay, now I'm going with this Milani Matte Liquid Lipstick, which is so pretty. And the thing I'm doing with this lipstick is I'm just running it along the edge of my lips and I'm not filling in my lips with this. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill my lips with this Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced. And so you get that really nice sort of contrast between the two colors. And when you do that, you get like such a really pretty sort of ombre effect on your lips. And just like carefully sort of blend it together. And there you go, those are the lips. And there's the makeup. Thanks so much for watching this guys, and I will see you next week with another video.